I believe that you can easily evaluate most web design tools or services by three core features. Those features are the design flexibility of the app and how easily you can create a custom site exactly to your liking. Is it rigid or are you locked into templates or can you move elements around the page and do anything you'd like? You can evaluate based on the functionality of the software and how complex of a site you can build. Is it meant for simple brochure type websites or complex services with databases and e-commerce? Often web design platforms utilize widgets or plugins to add new functionality and Muse definitely uses that system. Lastly, you can evaluate platforms based on client-side management or how easily non-designer customers can make edits and updates to the website. Here's where Muse falls on the spectrum. In terms of design flexibility, it is unmatched. There's nothing out there that has the drag and drop visual code-free design capabilities of Adobe Muse. In terms of functionality, Muse is somewhere in the middle of the row. It can do a lot, especially if you utilize widgets like the ones we provide. However, it does have limitations. Muse is only considered a front-end design tool, and you're not going to be able to build big, complicated websites with hundreds of pages and things that need database functionality very easily. You can probably hack them into Muse, but it's really not its core competency. And lastly, in terms of client-side management, this is probably where Muse falls short. When compared to a platform like WordPress or Squarespace that is designed for clients to be able to use it easily, Muse doesn't have these CMS capabilities built in. We've explored lots of options for client management using our Connect series of widgets, and it's working really nice. However, if you're evaluating Muse based on its CMS capabilities, especially compared to something like WordPress, it's not going to stand up to it. So just to recap, here are a couple pros and cons of using Muse. Pros. Muse is fast. You can build sites faster than any other application. You can build them even faster if you start with a template and you just quickly restyle the template and replace images. It has unmatched design flexibility and the only limitation is going to be your own creative mind. Muse has tons of extensibility with widgets. If you want to add a video or you want to add audio or anything like that to a site, you can usually download and find a widget that will enable it really easily. And our library has hundreds of widgets built just for this reason. Muse is easy to learn if you've used Adobe apps before. It feels familiar to InDesign and the layout of tools is the same as all other Adobe applications. Toolbar on the left, control bar on the top, and panels on the right side. Lastly, another big pro of using Muse is that the websites you build with it can be hosted anywhere. Because it doesn't create super complex websites with crazy hosting requirements, you can export a Muse site and use it on virtually any host in the world and it will run just fine. Now let's look at some of the biggest cons of using Muse. Muse doesn't have any sort of dynamic content system. And what I mean by that is you cannot create a page template and then use some sort of dynamic content management system to populate the content on those templates. For this reason, I recommend you use Muse for websites that are a little bit smaller. I wouldn't go ahead and build Muse for a 100 plus page website. It would be slow, it'd be hard to update that many pages, and there's just better tools out there for doing that. Muse is also limited on its client-side management. There is no perfect CMS system for Muse, and although Muse does come with something called Adobe's in-browser editing, which gives your clients the ability to edit things like text and images, very simple edits, it is somewhat limited in its CMS capabilities. This is an area that we've been actively exploring, and we've made some big improvements lately with our Connect series of widgets. So check out those widgets before you make any decisions. Lastly, the code that Muse writes is simple HTML and CSS. It's not easy to build a backend system that can communicate with a Muse site using technology such as PHP. As you can see, Muse fills a huge segment of the market, allowing designers who perhaps only focused on print design in the past to build code-free sites in a familiar layout tool. While Muse offers the best in design flexibility and can be pushed well beyond its limits to achieve complex functionality, you wouldn't want to use it for huge sites with hundreds of pages or sites where complex database or server-side functionality is required. 